Yes. yes. The stuff that you see in indie games today will be the stuff that makes up AAA titles five years from now. The original Zelda, FIFA, Games Goldies, Goldmine, Castlevania, Mario Bros. Mario Brother, in fact. No, you can't put a time traveling lumberjack in the game. This is a rally simulator and that makes no sense. And so I got fed up with people telling me no, and that's why I started making indie games. Like probably no publisher on earth would ever sign a project where main characters look like sperm cells. You can build very much what it is that, that we want to play. Well, yeah, the titles are fancy. Indie games, because they're so loosely constrained, because they don't have a necessarily have a bottom line to some market or investors that they need to please that they can really push the bounds i want to see like someone expressing themselves through the medium of making computer games it's a completely different experience than playing through any other platform once you get that controller in your hands we're not forced to make uh, bite-sized games uh, anymore it's pretty exciting just to think of uh, all the new possibilities. On the TV, on the couch, with your friends. The impact you can have from seeing a game on the big screen with big booming surround sound, like that's something you can't get on like mobile platforms. Multiple people in the room um, sharing the same experience. Sitting with friends side by side on a crouch. On a crouch. <laughs> on, a cr <laughs> on a couch. Playing a console with your friends is, is much more engaging. When we backed Ouya, we knew this was going to be a chance for us to get in on a console on the ground floor running. And I put pretty much anything that comes into my brain into my games. The, the great thing about Ouya is we're able to pretty much do whatever we want with, with no restrictions. Not played a bit of Fist of Awesome things, you probably should, but there's a kind of there's a background element which stands out as being a bit out there. Um, and so when people found it and started like laughing and calling their friends over and stuff like that was that was a beautiful moment and it made me like realise I was actually really kind of on the right track with this game. There's never been an easier time to be a developer than right now. You can take what's in the back of your head and put that on the television. And we want to